So Elm has a reputation of not having any runtime errors. And by and large, that's true. However, there are a few known ways that you can crash Elm. And I wanted to go over them with you so you can know to avoid them. Before we do that, though, I'd like to ask you if you, uh, if you use Elm, if you enjoy Elm, or enjoy learning about Elm, to please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to put out videos five days a week on Elm and Elm-related topics. And that will help me grow the channel. And please give me feedback about what you want to hear about. Leave me a comment. So there are a couple ways you can crash Elm. Obviously, there's a function debug.crash that will crash Elm. But there are a few others that you should know about. So the first one is if you do an integer divide by zero, that's using the um, percent operator, which will give you an integer division. If you do a floating point divide by zero using the normal division operator, you'll get not a number as a floating point type. But if you do an integer one, you'll get a crash. Uh, this is left over and will be fixed in version 0.19 of the language. Another one you can use is that you can create a regular expression using a string that's an invalid regular expression. This should result in a result type that will say, you know, either give you a regex or a, a value that says not, you know, error, not a valid regular expression. But for right now, it doesn't. It gives you a, um, it just gives you an error. If you're going to create a regular expression, do it at the top level of your program and do, don't let the users provide a string to form a regular expression version 0 0.18 of L. Again, this should hopefully be fixed in 0 0.19, but it's not yet. Uh, there are a few other ways. The array package has a few bugs in it that will do that. There's an array explorations package you can use, and those will uh, clear that up. So that is a useful trick. Um, but those are the main ways you can crash Elm code. So now you know to be aware of, aware of them and know how to avoid them. And, uh, and if you enjoyed this, please share it on Twitter and please subscribe.